I know a man that if you've cheated on your spouse, whether you cheated with a male or female, I don't care how sick this has gotten, I know a man that no matter how much you've drank in your life, no matter how many times you've got so inebriated that you possibly even maybe yearned all over yourself. You hear what I'm saying? I know a man that if you're into to, to any type of drug, whether you've it's an intravenous drug and you've uh, enjoyed or partook in the enjoyment of the contents contained within that epidermal syringe, I know a man that can forgive anything you've ever done, every abortion. And in some people, that's many abortions. Some people use abortions like it's birth control. Yes, I know a man that for, can give, forgive all of that, up to and including murder, slaughter of other people. This man can forgive everything because he was the ultimate sacrifice. He is the Son of God. He is God in the flesh. He is the Savior. He is the one that every knee, every knee will bow to after this life is over. That man is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God in the flesh. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. And without Him nothing's been made that has been made. John 1.14 says, He said, Then the Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. See, they, they, real, they, realized who, they did not realize who He was, that He was a Son of God, that He was God in the flesh. And they hung Him up on a tree for our sins, our iniquities. And all you got to do is to take all of your iniquities and repent of them. Repent. What is repent? Repent means turn away from whatever it is you're doing. 180 degrees. In the military, we call it an about face. Turn away from your sins. Ask God to forgive you of your sins. Get baptized in water, full submersion, and receive the Holy Spirit. That's all you have to do. And you will be washed clean. A brand new person. Sound good to you? Join me in this prayer. So dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just come to you right now in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Father, we don't really know how to do this, but we're going to do it in your great name. Lord, we believe that you are the Son of God and the only way to God. Father, we believe that, that you died on the cross and was rose again after the third day for our iniquities. Lord, we ask you to come into our hearts and to be our Lord and Savior. Father, I accept you into my heart. Please help me forgive myself as I know that you have forgiven me. Father, I love you and I praise you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My friend, if you prayed that prayer with me, all that nastiness that she was carrying around, trust me, it's gone. I don't mean to go out and keep doing it. It's not something that we just keep doing, but you will sin again. You will fall. But Jesus is there. He says where sin abounds, grace abounds that much more. Amen. So take comfort in knowing that, that you are a product of the Father. And you are created for His glory. Come out of the darkness, children of God. Come into the light. Reach for the Father. Seek the Father through the Son. And He'll forgive you. He's mighty to save. I love you and Jesus loves you. You have a great and blessed day. Amen.